Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So second reaction video today because we had two pieces of information that were uh, very noteworthy. The first being the Pal World gameplay trailer, which I did showcase earlier today if you want to check that video out. Next is a new Cassette Beast Fusion trailer. These are two games that I'm really looking forward to and uh, I'm, I'm excited to check this out. I have not checked it out. So this is kind of like a reaction slash breakdown. Let's do it. The fusion system in this game is insane, by the way. It's all algorithmic. Combine any monsters with fusion. <laughs> There's something like 14,000 combinations because it's all based on an algorithm using like uh, body parts. It's pretty cool. That's sick. Ooh, 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 what's this? Yo, what was that? Okay, so there's been a couple times in Cassette Beast where we have seen... Well, actually, mostly one time. Uh, there was the one Cassette Beast trailer where you see this, like, crazy, like, skull thing that they have to fight. Uh, I actually use it in my outro. Um, and here we see this, like... This thing's also in the same vein, but it's like a almost like a dummy, like... I wonder if this is sort of like, because everybody's on the Cassette Beast Island. They don't know why they're here. I wonder if like this is some sort of like play or some sort of show. Very peculiar that they'd add this at the end. This is definitely a big hint. Very strange. Let me, let me back that up a little bit. Sorry guys, I'm going, to, I'm going into a uh, sleuth mode here because I was not expecting something like this. What is this? It's very, very odd. Like it, it, that, that creature on the right does not look like it fits into the graphical style of the game. And it seems like the bosses don't. So there's something really weird going on in this world. But other than that, fusion, let's talk about fusion for a second. So the way fusion works, and I have done videos about this in the past, the way fusion works is you have two monsters in combat. It's two V two. Okay. When you decide to fuse together, you become one monster. Every monster in Cassette Beast is monotyped. However, when you fuse, you become dual typed. Since the game is in doubles, there is a strategic element to fusion because don't forget, if you fuse at the wrong time, it could be a bad move because um, you lose that second attack, right? So you become very strong, but now you're only attacking once per turn. So you have to sort of use fusion when it's like the right time. Um, I'm not 100% sure how health uh, works it, like if your health gets averaged out while you're fused or whatever but fusions are temporary any monsters can fuse uh, it's all based on an algorithm like I stated um, the type charts very different from what it was in uh, what it is in Pokemon like the type chart uh, the way it interacts gives you either buffs or debuffs so your fusion can kind of play into that as well um, there's there's a lot of variables like what happens if you're transmutated and you fuse do you keep the transmutation uh, so, for example, if you're a plastic type, you get hit by a fire type attack, you become a toxic type. If you then fuse, do you keep that toxic typing or do you revert to plastic? I'm not 100% sure, sure. But anyways, my point is the fusion's very strategic um, and there's a bunch of different designs and monsters that come out of it. And it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays into the game's um, overall strategy. As far as I know, Cassette Piece is going to be single player. But if they did ever decide to do some sort of um, uh, multiplayer, I, I think the competitive scene would be insane because of something like that. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's basically the gist of this uh, new trailer. I'm pretty excited for this game. I'm not going to lie. I actually really like this thing. <laughs> the thing with the, <laughs> the waiter over here. The thing about Cassette Beast designs is they're not meant to just be like elemental animals so when you see stuff like this it's not jarring like it can be in pokemon when you see like a teacup because most of the monsters are are very obscure uh i really like the designs in this game i think i think it's gonna be a top contender it's gonna be like 
like for the genre, it's going to be like your Nexomon, your Coromon, your Monster Sanctuary, just high quality pixel art, high quality gameplay, stuff like that. So if you guys are excited for Cassette Beasts, definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe to my channel because this is going to be one of those games that I'm going to be putting a lot of focus on when it does come out and leading up to that point. Uh, you can also check out my Twitter, my Discord, and my Patreon, all links below. Special thanks to my patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Steel Case, Dark Persona, and Ghost. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.